The next major plugin that I want to introduce to you is actually something relatively new. Uh, a lot of people won't know about it either because it's not high on the list of popular plugins on the OBS project website, but it's OBS text slideshow. And this particular plugin is a game changer for anybody who wants to be able to manipulate text on their stream without actually going to the source using hotkeys. And the best way to describe it is as such. If I go to OBS Studio and let's make it full screen by pressing F11. If I go uh, plus here and I go image slideshow as a source, what you can do here, if I make this menu a little bit bigger, is I can add image files to this directory here. I could add 10, 20, 30 image files. And it would flick through those images at a predetermined amount of time. So it would stay, if I set this to, uh, oh, I don't know, let's say 300 milliseconds. Every 300 milliseconds, the image would change from one to the other. I could also set this to, if I go to slide mode manual, I could use hotkeys to tell this source when to flick through the images. It's exactly the same with text slideshow. And let me show you first how we use it and then how you might want to utilize it in your streams. So I've installed the plugin. Let me show you the plugin again. So it's OBS text slideshow version 1.5.2 might be a little bit of a different version for you, but they all work. Now, if I go to OBS studio, this particular plugin is a source. So we're going to find it just like we find image slideshow. We're going to find text slideshow down here. Also GDI, like uh, similar to the text source itself. Uh, we're going to go, let's just change the name of this one to counter and I'm going to press OK. Um, now we've got a menu that, which is pretty similar to the menu that we had in image slideshow. We've got slide text, visibility behavior, slide mode transition. Let's go one by one. Let's go slide text. So in this box here, I'm going to tell the source what texts I want to show to my viewers and they're going to show up as different lines. Now, what I want to do is I want to set up a count or a timer from zero to 10. So what I need to do is add those specific numbers as individual files in this box here. Sounds complicated. It's very, very easy. I'm going to press plus. Add entry to slide text. I'm going to call this one zero and I'm going to press OK. And you'll see zero comes up as a line in the slide text. I need to add one. OK. I need to add two and so on and so forth until we get up to the number 10. Let's just do up to five for now, actually, because it's kind of pointless. Um, you can also read from a file or read from multiple files, similar to how we did it with text GDI that reads from a specific stream labels file or such. And you'll see right now, actually, it's starting to flick through the text files or the slide text, because at the moment we've got it set to transition fade and 8,000 milliseconds. Now, if I set this down to, let's do 200 milliseconds, it's going to switch very, very quickly between the text files that I have. Let's set it to 300 so we don't have, uh, so we don't have a fit watching that. I can change the transition to swipe as well. So you see that it swipes across as it changes those texts. Slide mode is on automatic at the moment. I'll talk about manual uh, very, very soon. But if I press OK, and we can enlarge it and we put it in the middle of the screen. It just loops and loops and loops around those text files. I can make sure that it doesn't loop. And if it doesn't loop, then it will just hide the entire thing after the final text file. If I click hide when slideshow is done, if I don't, it will just stay on the last text file. If I click hide when slideshow is done, let's have a look again. Zero, one, let's keep watching. And then after five, boom hidden. It will just disappear. Uh, you can also randomize playback. So if you have a uh, list of text files, you don't care what order they appear in. I'm just going to put this on loop for now. You can click randomize playback and you'll see it goes zero, one, three, one. And it's just going through all of them at a random order. Pretty cool if you have stuff that you don't care about being consecutive. I can also change the fonts. So if I go into the font menu here, I choose Alfredo. It's going to look pretty funky. I can't even read that. So let's change that to something that we actually can read. That's really weird. Uh, let's go for... I can't even see these fonts down here in the sample menu. There is a new update for that so that you can actually see this stuff. But um, I'm not going to go through that right now. Let's go through a font that I installed. Let's go through Formula 1. 
There you go. Very, very clear numbers from Formula One. Let's not randomize playback. Let's keep them in the right order. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. I can change the color. I can change the outline, of course. Uh, let's click outline on, just like we did with text. I'm going to put a, uh, let's put a red outline on it so I can read it nice and clearly. Make the outline a little bit larger. And there we go. We've got our text slideshow on screen. Now, one thing that you might want to do is to manually control this text slideshow with hotkeys so that when you press a button, it changes from one text to the next and so on and so forth. And that's really, really easy to set up. So once you've got your counter set up in the bottom here, go to settings, go to the settings menu by going file and settings. Go to hotkeys and scroll down in your hotkeys menu, you'll find a subtitle called counter. And what we want to do is we want to choose which key will activate the next slide and which key will activate the previous slide. So for me, I'm going to make it control plus for the next slide and control minus for the previous slide. And you see here, I've got control plus and control minus, click apply. And now when I click control plus, it will go to the next text. Control plus, it will go to number two. Control plus, it will go to number three. If I click control minus, it will go to number two. So that is really, really handy for if you want to control this with hotkeys. Control plus to two, control minus to one. Now, let's talk about when you actually might want to use this in a streaming sense. Why might this be useful? Well, the one very, very useful uh, thing this might be useful with, or, or you might want to use it with, is if I have something in my stream where if I say something a certain amount of times, I get fined or something like that. So let's say uh, swear jar. Let's create a new text called swear jar. And I want to count on my stream how many times I swear and my streamers or my viewers are going to help me count. They're also going to punish me if I talk, if I say too many swear words. I'm just going to put this counter at the end here. And every time I swear, instead of coming back to change that text file, I just click control plus and it increases the amount on that swear jar counter. Very, very useful. Uh, another way that you might want to use this is as a scoreboard. So let's say we've got team A, and I'm gonna put team A over here. I'm actually gonna get rid of that colon, and we're going to copy that source, and I'm going to paste a, is it duplicate or reference? I always forget, yeah, there we go, duplicate. And we're gonna go team B, and we're gonna put team B over here. We're gonna put the counter we just made next to team A, and we're gonna create another counter. I don't know if you can make, Duplicates of text count te text slideshows actually. Let's see copy and paste duplicate. There we go We can so that makes it way easier to copy the counter sources. We're gonna drag that over here So counter two or counter one is on the right now and counter two is on the left There's counter two. Where is counter two? Uh, maybe you can't do that. It's not letting me select counter two So you can't duplicate we're gonna have to create another counter So let's delete counter two and we're just gonna add another text slideshow we're going to call this counter two. Okay. Uh, we're going to go, where's Formula One font? Formula One. Okay. We're going to give the outline. We're going to make the outline on this one blue so that they're different team colors. Make it nice and thick. Number 10. And this one, slide text, we're going to have the same. So we're going to go zero, one, two, three four and five so there's counter two we're going to put that next to team a you can see where this is going let's move that over here a little bit ah, that's already automatically going through because i didn't change the settings so i need to go into counter two and turn off the slide mode automatic put it on manual and loop can be on as well. Now I need to set the hotkeys for counter number two, because if I do control plus, it will only change the score for counter number one. So I need to set up the hotkeys for counter number two. Let's go and do that. Let's go settings and hotkeys. Scroll down. Where is counter two? There's counter two. Next slide on counter two is going to be control and right. If it's going to let me do that, it is going to let me do that. And previous slide is going to be control left on the D-pad. Apply, okay, and if I go control right, it will add. Control right, it will add. Control left, it will take away. Easy peasy. Now, I might want to give this a 
slightly different design feel. So let's go gradient capture. Where's my gradient? Where is my gradient? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, no gradient because I haven't got the OBS plugin installed. So let's just go for a color source instead. And we're going to go, let's go, what's going to look good? We've got a white text and we're going to need a dark background. So let's go for like a dark blue and okay. And resize that to be a nice long triangle. Put it behind everything else. And suddenly we have a scoreboard. And there we have it, guys. You now have, and this is one of the biggest, biggest uses that people have been asking me about on OBS Studio. How do you program it so that I change my text with just the click of a button? Well, this is it, guys. This text slideshow plugin is exactly how you do it. Control plus, I add a score to team B, plus, minus, and if you make a mistake, you can take those scores away as well. Control right, I add a score to team A, and control left, I take away a score, score from team A. It really is that easy to set up and extremely helpful helpful so that you don't have to go back into OBS Studio and make all of those changes manually. Get text slideshow installed in your OBS Studio and you'll be far and away ahead of all of your competition.